It wasn't the weather that a solar car excels in, but this car wasn't built for Dutch weather anyway. It was built for the World Solar Challenge, a 3,000 kilometer race across the Australian outback. ASML is one of the sponsors of Solar Team 20, who will this year participate in the World Solar Challenge for the fourth time. The 2011 car is especially designed for better aerodynamic um, capabilities, so we've minimized air resistance greatly. We cut it back by at least 40%. Uh, the novelties are that the car is uh, built in a wing-shaped structure uh, with a thick wing, and this is done so that the air is guided around the wing in a better fashion than if we would have a very thin wing. Uh, also, uh, the car is lighter because we've used a Formula One-like monocoque structure of carbon fibre in the car. And that's new because the former car also used uh, parts of metal. Jos Benschop, ASML's Vice President Research, praised the project for teaching students how to work on a complete system. Something very similar to working in a high-tech industry. We are a proud sponsor of this uh, team, which has a phenomenal challenge to face. And in particular, it's very good to see that students work upon a total system as being, you know, uh, as a system. They really tackle it as we at ASML tackle it. So I think it's a, it's a great project. ASML plans to broaden its support in the future. Its thousands of engineers are likely to be called upon to contribute ideas and know-how. The idea is actually that we uh, work together with our partners in the deepest sense. So not just uh, we, we don't just want funding from com from companies. We want them to uh, be committed to the project, to think uh, together with us about the car, and to develop it further. So uh, also for ASML, this will mean in the future, hopefully, that we can uh, develop a technical partnership next to just financial sponsoring, because all the knowledge inside this company can really benefit uh, a solar car.